Hello, friends. Today, let's so find the medium from data stream. So the medium is a middle value in an ordered integer list. If the size of the list is even, there is no middle value. So the medium is the mean of the two middle value. So this question, we are given a data stream. So we do not know the size of the data stream. So for every given number, we should add it to the list. And we need to, if we call the find the medium, we need to return the median value of this given list. So one simple solution is we use a data structure. And uh, every time we add a number, we put that uh, integer to our list. And uh, when we call the find medium, we just uh, sort that uh, um, data structure, uh, maybe list or array, we sort it. And we choose the median value. But uh, this is not in efficient. We do not uh, take the information of the previous um, previous calls. So how can we use uh, the previous information? Let's see. This question actually is a sort um, problem. Um, but uh, the difference is that we do not know the whole array. Mm. So can we use some data structure that already has this ordering information? We can recall we have a data structure that is heap. If we only use one heap, uh, there is no major difference from using a list and sort it again. I mean, sort it every time to get the middle value. Um, how about we use two heaps? Why we can use two heaps? Let's see. If we just use one older list, we need to get the middle value. So that's the middle value. But if we use two heap, we can get uh, the peak of these two heaps, actually two peaks. So this is the maximum value for th uh, this part. This is the medium value from this part. Uh, if we split uh, by the middle, this is the first part, this is the second part. So this is the maximum value. Uh, if we want to get uh, the max value from a heap, we should uh, save it as a maximum um, max heap. If we want to get the minimum value from a heap, we should save it as a minimum heap, minimum heap. So that's the two heaps. Why well, we can use two heaps? Because uh, if it's a sorted, then the left part are the smaller elements. The right part are the larger part, uh, larger elements. So if we get the max uh, element from the smaller part and get the minimum value from the larger parts, we can quickly get their uh, mean. So that's the idea. We can use two heap. One is ascending order. We get this peak and then it's a maximum value. The other heap is a descending order. We get its heap, so it's the minimum value. Uh, as I said, the, this maximum heap saves smaller elements, and this minimum heap we save larger elements. So that's two example. Uh, this is the negative three, and this is negative two. Both are the heap. So uh, we get its medium is this mean value of these two elements. Okay. So you should. Uh, Know that uh, currently we use two heaps. One is called minimum heap. We save large values, and we also we can also use another variable to record its size. Instead, uh, call the mean heap size every time we can use a uh, integer value. For the max heap, we save smaller values, and we also say a uh, max size. So once we call the add number, let's see how many cases we have. One is if it is the first number, we can just save it to mini heap. So when the mini size equal to zero, we add that number to mini heap. 
if uh, this is the second uh, element, we already have one element in mini heap. We can just uh, save the current number to max heap. Can we? No, we cannot. Because you should know, you should always keep in mind that uh, this mini heap will save larger values, the max heap will save smaller values. So if the current number is less than the minimum heap peak, we can just save the number to the max heap. Uh, that's we are done. But if this number is greater than the minimum heap peak, then we should uh, pull this element from mini heap and save it to max heap, and save current number to the minimum heap because we should always make sure the minimum heap heap save the larger elements and max heap save the smaller elements so you uh, you should uh, notice this part okay if the current number is less than minimum peak it's not the w first or the second element it's the third or fourth or whatever if this number is less than minimum heap peak that means all the elements in the minimum heap are greater than current number so we cannot uh, mm, mix this order. So we should just save that number to the um, max heap. Otherwise, we save that element to the mini heap. So that's how we handle a new coming number. But this is not uh, unfinished. We should every time call this balance. Why? Because if we just want to use this heap, mm, this peak from these two heaps, we should always make sure the difference of these two heap size should be less or equal than one. So once the difference of the size of these two heaps is greater than one, we should uh, pull one element from the larger heap to the smaller heap. So once the, if the max size is greater than mini size, we offer one element from max heap to mini heap. Otherwise, we offer one element from mini heap to max heap. So that's it. Uh, regarding the finding medium, that should be simple. We just uh, return. If uh, these two heaps have different size, we just uh, return the peak of, uh, the, of a larger size. Otherwise, we get the mean value of the peaks of the two heaps. Okay, so let's write the code. We should use two um, priority two. One is minimum heap, minimum heap. Um, then priority queue integer max heap. We also use minimum size and the max size. Now let's do the initialization. Minimum heap will save the ascending order, right? Let's recall. Um, this is minimum heap. We should get its minimum, so it's ascending order. It's a default um, order in the priority queue. But for the max heap, we should uh, revise this order. We can write a lambda A, B, B minus A. We can also use some connections, uh, revise order, ch just uh, change the order. And the mini size should equal to zero, max size equal to zero. Okay, now here comes the add number. If the mini heap, okay, the mini size equal to zero, we just uh, put that uh, number to mini heap. At the same time, mini size increment by one, we return. If uh, the max size equal to zero, we have some issues to handle here. If this number is less than mini heap dot peak, that means we, because we need to save smaller number in a larger heap, small lum smaller numbers to the max heap, so it uh, follows this rule. So we just uh, save this. Uh, number to max heap at the same time max size increment by one if not the case that means we need to swap so we uh, max heap will offer the number 
pull from the median heap. And uh, we offer that uh, new coming number to mini heap. At the same time, okay, we just uh, right here because whatever we need to increment the size of the max heap and we return. If not these two case, well, we should check. If this number is less than all the numbers in the minimum heap, we put that uh, number to max heap and the uh, max size will increment by one. Otherwise, minimum heap will offer that number and the uh, meaning size increment by one. And we also call this balance function. Okay, private void balance. What should we do here? If the mass absolute value of the meaning size minus max size is less or great, uh, equal than one, we just return it. Uh, um, it is valid. Otherwise, if the max size greater than meaning size, we just uh, um, move one element from max heap to medium heap. So medium heap will offer the max heap pull something. At the same time, the max size will decrement by one. Meaning size will increment by one. As otherwise, is max heap offer this medium heap pull. Then the meaning size will decrement by one. Max size will increment by one. Okay, yeah. So the find minimum should be simple. If if the max size greater than median size, we just return the max heap dot pick. Mm. If the meaning size greater than max size, we just return meaning heap dot pick. Otherwise, we get uh, we just return the max heap pick plus mean heap pick divide two point zero. We should add a parenthesis. Okay. Mm, okay. I miss a semicolon. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.